Tab look crazy, but what up, gang? Go today's video, y'all. Do what I'm saying? It's gonna be about motivation and whatnot. And if anything, uh, I'm doing the thing where you look at the camera, you're supposed to be looking at the lens. I'm looking at myself, but what what we talking about? It's gonna all be about motivation. I just woke up, so excuse the look. Got the bonnet on my head and whatnot, but all about motivation. You dig what I'm saying? Um, if you're gonna do it for anybody, do it for your damn self. Don't do it for nobody else. That's the first thing I'm gonna say. This is gonna be a little quick cut before I get to the rest of the video and get the you know, everything I gotta talk about organized and all that. But yeah, um, I don't know why my voice sounds like that. It sounds like I'm croaking like a damn frog. But yeah, um, if you're gonna do it for anybody, do it for yourself. Don't worry about nothing else. And then we're gonna get into the rest of the video. How you gonna stay motivated? Because motivation, I, me personally, I believe it's fake. I learned that last year about, you know, the number one lesson is if you can't stay motivated, stay disciplined, right? So, building yourself a schedule, picking up that camera, because I just got this actually. This is like the Sony, I'm supposed to be gatekeeping, but I'm going to tell you, this is Sony ZV-E10. I probably got to get a new lens on it because I just got this and it's it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is in 4K. I think it should be, but we're going to see how the quality comes out when they get it on the laptop or the computer. I'm still learning a lot. But if you can't stay motivated, stay consistent, stay determined. Because I stopped going off of motivation a long time ago. I used to be watching videos on top of videos on how to stay motivated, on how to like, and things that would just motivate me and get me, made me want to get up, you know what I'm saying? And take on the world and the day. But that's not realistic, right? Not everybody got that kind of look. So what you gotta do is you just gotta stay consistent. You gotta keep getting and go after it every day. Make it a part of your schedule. Every day you wake up, that's consistent. When you go take a shower one, two times a day, I don't know what y'all be on, but real Jamaican, they're gonna say two times a day. I don't know if that sounded right, but I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, yeah, staying consistent, staying motivated, you know. Forget motivation. Stay consistent, stay consistent. Build a schedule. Wake up every day saying, alright, this is another day where I challenge my dreams. But. We're going to get into the next rest of the video. Back at it again. <clears throat> I had to change the scenery. This is probably a few days later. Probably going to get this video out by next week. But I want to continue on the topic of talking about the clothing brands for real. I don't know. I can't speak to the damn camera. This shit is so exciting. But yeah, bro. New camera. Big investments. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to use the phone no more. You see that? Yeah, boys. I don't got to use the phone. Ooh, they kind of got that. What they say they... If you're looking for a camera, ZV E10, by the way. Um, I ain't use it for no photography yet, but this is for um, video purposes. I'm gonna try to get content with it. Start the YouTube channel, get it going, you know what I'm saying? Cause um Yeah, but to continue what I was saying earlier in the first part of the video, talking about motivation, how to stay motivated, how to stay determined, because that is something I used to I pers actually I'm still working on it. I'm still struggling with it. You know, like just keeping on track. It's a good fiasco Milano on me. First street brand I ever shopped with for real. This is like last year. They had the full zips. I don't know how they're doing now, but if y'all want to check that out, check that out. So you get a calm little hoodie. Um, But yeah, I got to stop talking on myself too. I got to look in the camera. But what we're going to talk about, let's talk about this. Crack this down. The first thing I want to talk about when operating in the clothing brand space or entrepreneurship in general. It's just really to having a passion for it, right? So, I think when I first started, this isn't like my first rodeo, you know. I've been trying this stuff for like years now. And I haven't found my thing yet, but I found little successes that keep me going over time. Because the first thing I ever tried was um, investing in cryptocurrencies. No, not cryptocurrencies, sorry, Forex, right? Um, little story for y'all. I was in high school, took a little economics class. That was my first introduction to the financial world. And I ended up studying finance and economics since college. And um, so that was my first little exposure of how you can make money outside of ways of getting a job. Because, you know, growing up, you know, especially for being us, <laughs> you only hear about being like a superstar, being a basketball player, being a, um athlete, being a movie star, rapper, those kind of things. You know, nobody really connects with us on a business level. I see, you know, you look at them where the money is, we look at where businesses are, it's not really, you know, black owned, but all about, it's all about getting started somewhere, right? 
because then you can move on to being a serial entrepreneur and that's what I hope to do because I want to have multiple streams of income like I know you guys watch people like if you watching this channel right now you probably you definitely know like some people who have different businesses across a wide spectrum whether it's owning like cars rental companies drop shipping all different kinds of e-commerce what I'm trying to do is brand building personal brand I want to start drop shipping and then clothing brand that's what I want to focus on but later down the line you know I want to get into car rentals I want to do real estate I want to like own and that's the dream right that's the dream that's why we all that's all we all here we dream big boys we dream big yeah boys so I just want to say the first thing I'll talk about is finding a passion for whatever it is you're doing right because let's see the first thing one of the first things I found success in was theme pages right I think I made a cool three to five K by now off of Instagram theme pages but they not easy to grow as they used to be um, because many things are saturated like if you look on let's see um, I'm gonna take a screenshot probably put it up here for y'all if you look at the shade room right they have about 28.9 million followers you know how much value that is if you could promote to 28.9 million people and let's say not, not all of them are even active right let's say like 10 million of them are active that's still a lot of people right and I think they charge about like three bands to um be get promo on their page and imagine what you could do with that kind of money just for posting a picture right and like that's why I think like you know things is there's some easy ways to make bread if you do it right, right? If it's things are selling themselves over time, but the hard part is getting started. Um, so I started theme pages, you know. I'm not ready to exactly suppose which because it's getting a little saturated. It gets a little hard, but I could put y'all on to like follow the shade room, post news, post reports. People will come to you for promotions and things like that. And not just that, you can also use that influence to affect others. You can start brands off of that. Like, I've started a brand off of it. And it got a little bit of commotion, but not too much. Because I'm, again, not the most successful. But I have a little bit of results, so I feel confident in what I'm talking about. Um, let me just check this camera. I don't even, it doesn't even, like, tell you how long you've been recording for. Oh, I'm on five minutes already? Goddamn! Anywho. Yeah, so having a passion. The first theme page I thought it started with um, was like motivation, but like there were so many out there at that point. All right, I was in a group chat. Some people took off, grew their pages to like 500k. My, my didn't get past 4,000 people, but that's still 4,000 people, right? So I wasn't even passionate about it after the time. It kind of growed on me, and I was like, you know, I don't really want to do this for like the next two years, like. So you think about something that you're going to stick with for a long time, first and foremost, right? Because if you're not going to stick with it, if you're going to get bored with it, it's not going to be worth your time. So me personally, I felt like like this was like earlier last year, I said, yeah, I'm just going to focus on one page because per man who chases too many rabbits catches none, right? So I've zoned in on e-commerce and I still run a theme page, but... I don't think of it as a, me running a theme page. I just do it for fun because it's something I enjoy, something I enjoy looking at. I've met a lot of people through it. Like, I'm in group chats with some of your favorite influencers, probably. I don't know them on a personal basis where I can reach out to them, but I know people through the internet who could probably reach out to them for me. You know what I'm saying? So, think about it like that. What connections can I even make from this business as well? Because your network is your net worth, right? So whatever it is you're putting out into the world, make sure that make sure it's coming back to you, and make sure you don't burn bridges as you go, and you're just trying to build as many connections as you can. Because you know I have a lot of friends that you know they don't really see the value in extending bridges towards other people. You know they see like you know mistakes you've done or things like that. But I never really saw like the good part of that because it's like you could use this for whatever reason down the line you can use this person it's not even just using people but like having those people in your corner just might be able to help you and you never know why you might need help so like if you could get help from somewhere why not take it does that make any sense to drop those bridges i don't think so but to each their own to each their own and so yeah having a passion for it definitely helps it keeps you driven it keeps you motivated and it keeps you going basically because after a while you can't live off motivation you know what i'm saying like motivation 
Yeah, motivation motivation can be difficult. Um which is why I like to just stay stay focused. Stay focused. Anywho, to my first point, you know, staying past get past that motivation point because motivation goes like this. It's like a roller coaster. Some days you're gonna feel it, some days you're not gonna feel it. Be disciplined. Make that schedule. Oh, My little cousin just came out. Uh, yeah, but make that schedule. Stick to it and see how it goes. You're going to see growth over time. Like, yeah, it might not even come in ways that you want it to. Like, me personally, my growth hasn't even set in yet where I want it to be. But when you take a second and you look back at it, like, do I know stuff that I didn't know yesterday? And well, I've discovered that the answer is yes most of the time. And that's what I'm going to be happy with for now. But... Yeah, that's um to my first point. Uh, be passionate about it. Find that piece that takes you past motivation and takes you towards discipline. And be dedicated to something. Make you have to be obsessed with it. If you want to be good at something, you have to be obsessed with it. Me personally, I'm a I was a Division One soccer player, Division One athlete. And while that doesn't really mean much to um my my dad, I guess because like you know he's like an old Jamaican man. And it's like, all right, you play a ball, but that's it, whatever. So I know to a lot of Americans, you know, when they hear Division One, they're like, oh wow, oh, wow, you made D one? Oh, that's crazy. So you know, I kind of have to, you have to look at your blessings in life, right? Because to me, that's all I ever wanted growing up. Like I started playing late. I started like age nine, ten, eleven. Like I was playing wreck. And many of you know, the guys who I played with started when they were like three to eight years old and I'm just yapping at this point but it's kind of fun it's kind of fun but um they they've been playing all their lives but for me to catch up to them I had to be obsessed with it I had to want it I had to want to go and practice I had to have it wake me up every morning something I was always thinking about and eventually I achieved that dream and that's what keeps me going with this too that I know and I put my mind something I'm going to achieve it and I don't even care who's watching either because I've been made fun of thousands of times they're called bad terrible player and guess what most of those guys never got to play Division One like I did. So, yeah, sticking to your dreams, sticking to it, being disciplined is much better than motivation. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. Much better than motiv motivation. Um, next thing I want to talk about is how to view challenges, right? I think that's another point to talk about. Um, my first two drops failed. Well, it's absolute failure. And aside from that, the other e-commerce businesses I tried failed. Like, I'm on year, like, three. Like, not everybody's going to take off in that first one, two, three, four, even maybe five years. But what's the point in stopping? Like, you have one life to live. You're going to have to try something or don't try it all. You're going to live with regret saying, hey, I didn't try this. I wish I tried this. It could have changed my life. And, like, this junk, this this has even changed my life already. And I even make no serious money off of it, right? But it shows me that I can. not Like, I make it, like... I made like an extra three to four grand off a theme page with less than 10k followers and I'm like imagine I had a hundred thousand followers and I started that two years earlier I probably could I, I, I know an, I know accounts that make a cool 50k off of just posting pictures and even while this is about clothing brand like entrepreneurship I want to talk about the theme pages as well because that's what I've been doing but with the clothing brand now, like I've signed up for these mentorships and all that, but like I'm getting help, so like I think 2024 is going to be a different year for it, right? The first two drops failed, but you have to look at it and say, okay, the everything, the blame is always your fault, first and foremost. Always take things on your shoulders and say like, yeah, I did something wrong. Um, when I look back on my drops, I know I didn't mark it right, right? My videos are trash <laughs> i had no space on that old phone i got a camera now i got a new phone so like that's a combined 400 gigs that phone has 65 and it has ran up like i had no space die but i had no space on that phone and i was um struggling to make content right but not just struggling to make content i think i had a losing product like it was calm but, like, you see how this had a little spider web and whatnot? And I, when I first bought it, like, it's like a year and a half or a year ago. I was like, yo, this is cool. Puff print. That was in style. Full zips is in style. So I was like, 
Yeah, it's gone. So, but the thing was, you want to stay on top of the trends and stop, and eventually get to that point where you're setting the trends, right? When I did my first drop, it was a hoodie that was a full zip, but I dropped it in the summer, and it was black. So that's hot. That's already going like way people's attention. And the next point to it was that I um, it was just a name on a hoodie. It was basic, and it had a little globe on the back, which was cool, but it didn't look like no high quality. I think it was like 320 GSM, which isn't that high if you don't know, but it's like I guess average. But it didn't look like one. It didn't look like the best quality. Two it wasn't the best product. Three, I didn't know how to market. But learning those lessons and overcoming that, I wanted to quit. <laughs> my, my girlfriend told me, uh, "Hey, listen, like, she's like the biggest motivator ever. Like, don't quit. Like, there's no point in quitting." And I'd stop being a sob story and get my ass up and say, "Like, yo, clap back in. Like, time to lock in. So you can learn from this. What do we learn from this?" And the thing was, we even got to nearly. We nearly sold all thirty of them out. We sent about five of them out for free. But I think we got about like 20 purchases off of those hoodies. And like, this is just as beginners. We didn't know what we was doing. We're not designers. We ain't, we have no uh, market to or like people behind us. So it's just like trying to think on our own. And you know, it's something to be proud of. So you got to be proud of those little wins. That should be a third point. Like be proud of the little wins. Like you got that first sale. Somebody out there doesn't have it. You got a website. Somebody has no idea what they're doing. They still got Doc Shopify in their website bio. Like, be proud of those small wins, bro, or sis, and um, just keep going with it. Like, look at it and say, like, all right, I did something wrong. How can I improve? You're going to lose bread. Like, I wanted to track bread and make profit early, but, like, I kind of recommend, like, not focusing on that and just learning first. Like, be ready to sacrifice at least five grand. Like, and that's over time. Not on the dot. Be, just be willing to sacrifice five grand and say, like, hey. This is what I'm willing to lose. Because even with stocks, like I was doing stocks and I still do stocks. Like my account had dipped so much after um, a period where like they were talking about recession. It was like a lot of investor fear. And sorry, I'm talking about finance. But like the stock market was crashing post-COVID heights. And um, it was looking pretty rough, you know what I mean? But like this year recently, everything has kind of like rebounded back and they're getting to like new highs. So like, you just gotta wait it out and ride the ride and see how it goes. And I'm probably gonna make a part two on this video cause it's getting kind of long, but like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. This YouTube thing is kind of fun. It's kind of fun talking to the camera and just being able to express thoughts. But like, you know, I hope that y'all, you know, check in with this little video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you tap subscribe and tap in and see the journey. I'm going to be making a video about the new samples that just came in. They are not coming. They just got made, but I'm about to get them shipped. Um, but a little video about motivation, you know, staying disciplined, staying, having fun with it. Make sure it's something you're passionate about. And then just viewing the, little, viewing the L's as wins. Like, you learn something at the end of the day. That's always a win. As you can improve, as you can get better. That's always a win. So I hope y'all like this video. Make sure y'all tap in, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Yeah, that rolled off my tongue for real. That rolled off my tongue for real. You to this YouTube thing. I'm trying to get monetized on this video, but um, yeah, have fun with it, man. And um, let's go up. I'm gonna also like probably put some images of my new samples in this. They kind of look good on camera on the um picture that they sent me. Let's see if I can get it for that. It looked good on the picture that they sent me, but at the same time, I'm a little worried about the fit. So I'm pretty sure the woman is she, you know, probably she looks short and skinny, so her size definitely like it's not gonna fit her as it would fit me. But like, let's see when it touches down in the USA, and let's see how it gonna look on me. Cause it look a little big on her, and it like kind of relaxed on. Me. If you see this, like elasticity. But that's actually a cool little crop look because I got my size chart off of somebody else. Um, so we're going to see. It's all about experimenting and learning lessons. But I'm out. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe too because I just got my first subscriber and that, that shit got me hyped. So we on the road to like a cool, calm 1K. Subbies. Yuck.